Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. We're all sitting alone, but we're not alone. That Sayyidina Muhammad is with us. That get yourself uh, nice headphones or earpods. And listen to these zikrs and see yourself at Rosa Sharif in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and any type of beatific action towards Sayyidina Muhammad has such an immense reward from Allah that can't be even imagined. But to know you're never alone, that you're with Prophet because you're showing these signs of love and muhabbat. And when we're with Sayyidina Muhammad we're with everything. Entire power of this created universe is with you, every light and blessing is with you if you are with Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that Allah increase us in love as this dunya enters into its stages of difficulty. That what will save us is this love of Allah and Allah is a hidden treasure wanting to be known. That there's no way for you to ever know, La ilaha illallah. You cannot know, La ilaha illallah, because of the vir virtue of saying, La ilaha illallah. Allah saying, There's nothing like unto me, there's nothing like me, nothing that you can even understand or comprehend of me. But Allah's ni'mat is that He reflected a reality towards Muhammadun Rasulullah And when you come towards that love and your love is sincere for Allah Allah shows you what He loves. Allah doesn't care to show you dunya, He shows you from what He loves. And His love is for Sayyidina Muhammad Every Haqqaiq and reality of the reality of Muhammadun Rasulullah begin to dress upon the servant. And anything that you in, uh, approach in life, it begins to approach towards you. Anything that you move closer towards that reality, that reality begins to move closer to you and begin to dress you and bless you. And every type of difficulty and mushkilat goes away from the illusionary difficulties. And the only difficulty that remains is a difficulty of love. That, A Shaykh Shuddam o Madad Guftam, I fell into this love and my whole life became about the madad of this love. Because as you draw closer to Sayyidina Muhammad he infinitely is expanding away from you. As Prophet is the Muhammadun Rasulullah moving towards La ilaha illallah. So for us to understand that reality is that you make a dot on a piece of paper and then you look at it with a microscope. Because this is the reality of ascension, when you're moving towards a reality, Allah makes that reality to expand because Allah is infinite. If Allah didn't expand it, then there would be a limit. So as much as you move towards that dot, what happens to the dot if you look under a microscope? Mulan Shaykh would always teach is that dot starts to expand. So one dot stays there but the dot actually begins to expand because the ink that was making that dot has a circumference. The circumference begins to expand, you still see the dot there but now the circumference expanded. Means uh, every reality that we are approaching because better not to try to talk about Allah that's beyond imagination because this is Prophet's haqqaiq. It's as Prophet is moving towards Allah always Muhammadun Rasulullah This is a tawheed, this is tawheed from Maqam al-Ihsan into Maqam al-Azimah. That everything is in this La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah Tawheed is uh, the first usul at sharia just to acknowledge it. 
didn't mean you even came close to understanding it. But as Prophet's miraj is always Muhammadun Rasulullah moving into the wow, hey, into Allah all the way up. And as, Allah, as Prophet is moving towards that reality, that reality is expanding. And as we are moving towards the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad because we directed our love towards that reality. As soon as we think we are drawing close, as much as the reality of Prophet is expanding away. And with the immense heartbreak in the heart, immense love in their heart that it seems ever so much more distant. Every haqqaiq that opens it becomes more and more distant as if this one that you love with all your being is infinitely expanding away. And our whole life is this madad that, Ya Rabbi give me a strength and ability to continue. Give me a, a, an ability and a himmah to continue. Give me good actions and good amal that the nazar of Prophet be upon me to keep pulling me in for this miraj. It's not from your power, it's not from your salah, it's not from your zakat, it's not from anything from ourselves. But it's from Sayyidina Muhammad words of truth, Malik al-Haq al-Mubeen, who's Allah's Malik? Sayyidina Muhammad So Allah is sitting somewhere that you can meet him? Can a throne of a king be empty? That's an empty kingdom. Can you imagine you come to a kingdom and say, where's the king? He's out today. It's impossible. The throne was so important in a kingdom, no one was allowed to sit on it. If your children sat on it, they would kill them. Because the court would say, maybe this kid of yours is planning to take a coup d'etat on you. That's how important the throne and kingdoms are. Nobody sits on the throne. Not even a brother comes into the kingdom and says, can I just sit on the throne today? They would all look and say, oh, did Ajee, why would he do like that? You're watching Erdogan in these shows? They show you mm -hmm. that? They're all watching. Why would he want to sit there? The red apple means nobody leaves the throne empty. Do you think Allah is sitting on a, on a chair somewhere? No. So Allah is the owner in, of everything. Malikul mulk, every mulk is under the authority of Allah but He created a king. Allah is the king maker. That king sits upon the throne. That power under the authority of Sayyidina Muhammad Malik al-Haq because he's created in truth and that the haqq is that he's hayy and qayyum. Any of these other external scholars you, you have to understand that Allah even explains the haqq. When you say haqq, you say, I know what haqq is, you don't know what haqq is. Haqq is hayya al-qayyum, ha for hayat, bahrul hayat, qaf al-Qur'an al-Majeed for qayyum. That the haqq is eternal and it's qayyum because it doesn't come from you and me and we don't turn it on and we don't turn it off. It's not in our control. The one who makes everything is in control of its hayat because Allah causes the on and off. He makes the, the death and He makes the life. He can't be in what He turns on and off. He's outside of that reality. So the Malik, the one whom sits upon the throne, the one who authorized is La ilaha illallah. But the one who sits is Muhammadun Rasulullah the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad is Hayyu and Qayyum. That it ever vigilant over this creation. Allah testifies to that reality in Ayatul Kareem that the Hayyu Qayyum is very vigilant. He doesn't sleep and slumber. And his eyes are never off of this creation because it's not eyes that we understand from physical eyes. 
The power of that light is vigilant over everything because everything created in His light. Scientists know that now when they split the atom, they split the, the, pole, the, uh, the molecules of light. As soon as they split the light went into three directions, they realized that these three splits they communicate with each other, everything. One particle of your light, the other one, wherever these three particles are they're communicating everything. Imagine then if every particle came from Sayyidina Muhammad and he was just the big split that Allah split, just pow, split the light and everything went out. Every particle of that light communicates and every particle knows every reality. And Prophet knows every reality because all from his light. So when Allah talks in Qur'an, we created creation from truth. From my Malik al-Hayat that his soul وسلم, is the source and origin of this Hayat. I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known and that his soul وسلم, is Qayyum because Allah sustains it and there's nothing in this creation that can turn it off. And his Mubeen. Is clearly the king. Those in Malakut they know and they see that reality. Those in Mulk they're blind and they don't understand the reality. Malik al Haqq al Mubeen is a description of Sayyidina Muhammad. Muhammadun Rasulullah. And Allah began to define it more. So that if you didn't know all those codes, Muhammadun Rasulullah, a Sadiq because he's truthful, Al-Wahda al amin that give the characteristics and the beauti beautific reality of Sayyidina Muhammad That this journey of ours in that reality and to be dressed from those lights, blessed from those lights means as much as we're moving into that reality of the the nukht of Muhammadun Rasulullah infinitely is expanding. And there can be infinite points on the circumference and still the reality stays the same as it was, just a nukht. And then again you have to keep diving, I want to reach. As soon as you think you're going to reach infinitely Prophet is expanding away. And this becomes the reality of the constant of light. Light is at a constant and this is an adab. As much as, as, as Prophet is moving towards the reality of Allah Allah is letting it to stay at qawba qawsayni o adana. That we are two bow lengths or near, like an adab for us to understand. If I give you from point A to B and say that you can only move half the distance each time, do you ever reach point A if you are at point B? No, because it's an infinite equation for you. From A to B and I say you can only move half the distance each time, you move half. Now A and B become new A and B. And then you move half, A and B becomes again new A and B. Did you get any closer? No, you think you did but it's actually expanding. And this is the journey towards the reality. And Allah says, that's like when you're on a plane, I'm going to arrive, oh my gosh I'm on the plane, I'm flying on the plane, we're going to go off the edge of the earth. And as soon as you reach, reach, reach the horizon Allah flips the earth and comes back. And again you look like it's going forever and as you're going you look like it's going forever. You don't reach a point and it ends. Allah expands the horizon just by the movement. So means every reality that we're going towards is expanding. The heartbreak is in that expansion. You're trying to reach to something 
And what you're trying to reach is moving infinitely away, constant at a constant. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the realities of these lights and these blessings. This is not what we wanted to talk about for tonight. Hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.